Hello everybody and welcome back. It's been a few days because I'm actually trying to be avoiding making this video, but you can't avoid it any longer and I've got to get it dealt with. I've also, rather annoyingly, been dealing with a infestation, an invasion of Asian hornets in my living room and they just won't stop getting down the chimney, getting into the room and then flying around so I can't even use it, which is rather annoying at the moment. So there is been a bit to deal with, but first off, the water levels have finally receded. So that's, yeah, there we go. You can see across the pea soup. You can see there how much lower the water is than the other day and actually you can sort of see the marks on the balustrades there, just, just uh, how high up the water went from where it currently is. It's a bit higher now still than where it is normally because it's supposed to be it's, uh, still struggling through. Because we actually have actually a storm coming. And you can see on the wall under there as well, can't you? Oh, can you? Just under the bamboo there, you can see the line of where the, up that wall where it went. So yeah, it's a lot lower now. Of course, with a storm coming, and apparently, I don't know what it's called, some Kieran, don't know. Um, I'm not good with names. The lower, the water level needs to be as low as possible before strong winds come, so the ground where all the tree roots are is not as waterlogged as it possibly was, because then they've got more of a chance of actually staying upright. Um, because it is apparently it's a, a proper storm coming through there is danger to life and severe damage so I've also trying to run around this place putting anything that's going to blow away or get crushed by falling trees away as best as possible but I think I've done it with the water level now you can see it from a different angle so obviously you know it's it is autumn is here leaves are everywhere the place is a mess well, it certainly will be for a few weeks uh, there's a better example of just how high up there on those uh, on the bottom of those pillars. So it really went up quite far. So hopefully that's enough to get it all down and you know give the tree roots a bit of a chance when the wind starts howling because there's plenty of trees here to fall down and we get them every year. So. Yeah, do you know what? It happens most years and it'll happen a couple of times through the course of the year that I will have to try to unclog that outflow. And what's a simple reason? And a few of you did get that in the comments. It has been left to be overgrown. There are trees, bushes and all sorts of things down that driveway which just shouldn't be there. I mean, all around the property. You've seen from the aerial photos and of course the original black and white photo of that driveway where it's very clear. That's what it should be like. Uh, and it's a huge amount of work to try to get back to that point. There are other small ancient outflows, and of course, people have let bushes grow in those areas, so now that is full of roots as well. These things just happen when things are left from their original design. So, the fact it's a little bit too much work for, the, uh, for one person, is uh, one of the things which I'll now have to discuss, I guess. Sit down and answer this important question. No. I can't do that in here because we still, we, I've literally just emptied this room. 15 minutes ago, I emptied this room of the last of the Asian Hornets. And there they are, there's three more in the window and it's a lot milder temperature today which means they're a little bit more active. So, another room. Yes, this will do. All right. All right, as you can see, I've had a shower and got changed because even an extra 15 minutes of putting this off was preferable. Uh, right, really simply, 
um, answer the big question which everyone is always asking. And I had uh, rather hoped that everyone would just realise, because um, it's been quite obvious, um, because I've always been of the opinion that YouTubers, people that do YouTube and stuff, all right, we let you into our lives, but we have private lives. And, uh, you know, it's called private life for a reason. Um, it's not for absolutely everybody, but something happened the other day, so I've got to kind of um, address this, and it's the one time I'll address it, and then we're just going to move on, hopefully. Um, the question which always comes up is, where is Angelina? And um, that's being asked on a regular basis while I'm not wearing my wedding ring, and she's not been in a video for almost a year, so I would have thought that that had been um, really sort of understood um so angie and i are not together anymore we have separated it is i must speak to angie in most days we're still friends it's obviously very sad when it doesn't matter how much love understanding or um effort you put into things um sometimes people go in different paths in life and that really really can't be helped um sometimes um no matter how sad that can be um so that is that really simple question answered i had kind of uh, so many people had kind of worked this out that i didn't feel that certainly i didn't want to put in a video anything regarding this because my private life angelina's private life is exactly that um if we don't choose to share it then it's not for everyone to um to sort of demand to know and if it wasn't for the fact that something happened the other day then I probably still wouldn't have mentioned it um you know we all know that I'm I really really do think that even when someone can be difficult in comments or online or on any form of social media um that I usually think it comes from a place of love and it's just misplaced um I've always been of that opinion I also believe you know I believe that we're all should be more understanding of everybody else we don't know what they're going through and um, then the world would be a much nicer, happier place. And I still agree with that statement from something that happened the other day. I was out with um, a friend of mine, somebody from YouTube, um, tracked down the person I was with on social media and sent her some quite nasty things. Um, and that is one of the main reasons why I feel I have to tell people because if somebody is trying to uh, however misplaced trying to care for myself and Angelina in some way um, and and just that's come out wrong for them then um, then that's completely my fault for not saying anything here in such a plain and obvious way um, so whoever, whoever that was please don't 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 stress and don't worry if you're watching this um, I know that that was from a a place of uh, love, but it was kind of misplaced. Um, and in the same way as everybody, there's no need for um, comments on this either. Um, life takes different turns sometimes, and um, whether you see them coming or not, or and, and you know, whether you you don't anticipate them, these things happen. You can't. Um, there's no blame attributed. There is no. Um, uh, there's no. I don't even know what to say. Really, look, it does. Thank you all for caring, which is what you do by asking the question. Thank you all for the ones that have got even a little bit more aggressive in comments or other places, um, trying to find out. Um, again, I'm sure, it comes from a place of love, but that is that's where we are okay angie and i are still friends we still speak all the time you know it, it's just our lives went sadly went in different directions and didn't feel a need to really tell everybody all about this um until it seemed that people's inquisitiveness around it um, was becoming destructive to other people, which is obviously never very nice. And I would also, I would, I would absolutely hate, I can always handle people sending me crappy stuff. 
I get it all the time. That's fine. Um, I, the people underestimate how much I am happy to take the piss out of myself. Um, I would hate for somebody to send something to Angelina or, or anybody else. It's just it's never it's never fair. So um, my fault for not doing something about it before. I don't really want to dwell on this, and I'm not going to mention it ever again. And um, in a few days, when everyone that's going to see this video has seen it. I'm going to take it down because it really isn't of, of um, it's not for out there for, I don't want, didn't want to make any a video which ended up trying to commercialize something which is uh, private life. So thank you all for caring so much because I appreciate you wouldn't constantly ask if you didn't care. Uh, thank you everybody that has, um, when those comments have come up, um, in all sorts of places, um, jumped to stop arguments and um, and nastiness, and uh, even thank you to the person that kind of again misplaced, um, mis misplaced love, um, sending somebody a message the other day. Um, I know it came from a place of love, so um, I'm not going to bother reading the comments. I might even turn them off. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being understanding. And hopefully now everyone can just move on past this because I would really like to when it comes to the videos and the comments. So I will see you all next time. I actually, as I've been avoiding this for almost a year, I am probably going straight to the pub. So I won't, I won't read any of the comments until tomorrow if they're even turned on. Anyway, right, it's done, it's dusted, I told you. Hopefully everyone can now um, just put that question to bed and I will see everyone tomorrow where it's back onto normal things, not um, trying to get over the elephant in the room. Right, see you next time. Thank you.